Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. Amy's up on the roof working on it so hard. We've had so many leaks. This thing's leaking where places I didn't even know it could leak. So she's working really hard on that. So today I'm going to show you my pantry. But before I do, I wanted to say just a couple of things. One, Amy and I aren't alone up here. Uh, there's going to be a minimum of like 10 adults up here with us this winter. We are with our family um, and we're all committed to working together to create these pantries so we can try to feed this huge crew we're going to have through this winter. When I talk about prepping, I truly believe everyone should be prepping because things are changing and I, and things are limited. limited. And it's kind of dangerous and scary out there. If this sickness is, is mutated and worse than it was before, gosh, everybody, if you don't have to go to the market, don't go to the market. Just stock up now if you can. That being said, back to this pantry. This is actually one of our pantries. This is inside our 30-foot travel trailer. We converted our bedroom into our pantry and moved the bedroom out to the living room. So now we have a little studio apartment and we're loving it. So let me get in. Oh, one more thing. So back to, yeah, we're with family and everything. Two Two more of our family members were laid off this week, guys. This is a scary time. It is a very scary time. We're doing this. It's hitting home to us. You know, when Amy got her layoff, we had a uh, month and a half. We had a whole month and a half to prepare before the layoff. You know, our other family members, they haven't had that luxury. They showed up at work and they're like, guess what? No more. We're done. So... Anyway, just, you never know. You just never know. We didn't think it was going to happen to us, and it certainly could happen to you. So, I'm not going to be Debbie Downer. I just think it's important that people are preparing. So now, let's get into the pantry. All right, everybody, we're going in. Oh, my kitty's already here. Take one more look real quick. Okay, let it be a surprise. Okay, Charlie is sitting on top of 25 pounds of flour. Just down next to her there is 50 pounds of sugar. We have some waters down here and some other drinks, Gatorades, all kinds of sodas. I have 20 pounds of potatoes. Uh, regular russet potatoes and I have 10 pounds of red potatoes and five pounds of sweet potatoes down there We have a bunch of sodas stacked right there up here. We'll start with this box This box is mainly baking uh, These these are in there because Amy likes me to make her cupcakes inside these cake cones this has uh, cocoa powder different sugars, different uh, chocolate chips. You get the point, right? Underneath is just some more flour in there. Just some more flour. I actually did buy one five pound bag of self-rising flour because I found some recipes for it. So I'm gonna give that a go. All the rest of our flour is all, all purpose. Moving right along. Let's look at the top of this rack. As you can see, we have lots and lots and lots of cereal. This rack here, we found on the property, it's like an old baker's rack thing, cleaned it up and stuck it in here. So, up here is all cereal and potato chips. <laughs> those red boxes are those mashed potatoes that I bought. I'll put those in mylar. These are all cake mixes right here. A couple little jiffy mixes. Down here, and I'm going to take you over so you can see in the buckets. This bucket is nothing but muffin mix. And see how Martha White puts the, the product, what it is, on the bottom? So you can store them upside down and you can just grab them. Betty Crocker didn't do that. You'd think she'd have her act together. Anyway, moving on. This has some Bear Creek soups. 
and some that's just a package of mashed potatoes there these are all hamburger helper type deals remember all our generic cookies <laughs> we've got quite the pile of those going now if we go down here remember i told you i had a lot of nor well here it is i've got a couple nokies in here but these i mean they go on forever i i have them a million packages of them they're too deep so there's another layer. Those are so easy to have on hand. Okay, we've got some coffees. These are too deep. Everything's too deep. In this one here, I have some marshmallows, funny little marshmallows. Those peanuts that I got. And also, these are all bread mixes. Same thing, I store them upside down so I can see there's cornbread, there's biscuits, there's hush puppies. Super convenient and easy. Now onto the bottom shelf here. We've got a bunch of puddings, a couple cases of fruits, a couple jars of applesauce. There's a couple cans that dole, that's pineapple juice. Um, some more fruits. I have a case of corn there. And let's go up here. If we go over here, you'll see all these Chef Boyardees in four packs. That's like the ramen tower there. There's some crackers behind there. And a big old box of Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. This truly is a small, small space. Let me give you a view from up top. This basket right here is all rice. We even have Amy's cell phone rice. It's so funny, look. Cell phone rice, Amy. She's constantly getting her phone wet. <laughs> but uh, this is, I think, 50 pounds of rice. And as you know, we did store rice, beans, flour, everything in five gallon buckets. So this is just kind of for us. This, this is actually mine and Amy's rice. Not the homesteads, just mine and Amy's rice. That's all we have for the most part. I do have some parboiled too. I'll show you. Over here in this bucket, we've got beans. Lots of beans. We ordered these delicious garbanzo beans. Look at those. But all of these are just the little packs. Little packs of beans that you get. All varieties. A, a ton of them. And I also have been dry canning my beans, and I will show you that when I show you my alternative uh, pantry spaces, um, because they just will last forever. And you know what? They look beautiful, too, when they're in a jar. <laughs> Over here, back here, if I pull these out, you'll see they go back. I have several of these Campbell's. Those are all the Hunt's uh, spaghetti sauces. Some SpaghettiOs down there. That's a case down here. That's a case of uh, chili sauce, chili, chili dog sauce. Now, this is our protein, our, our meat protein, okay? It is everything for the most part you've seen me buy, except those sandwiches. I know we've got to add meat to those, but that's just where I chose to put them. We've got all our little weenie bites and our corned beef hash and our taco cans our sweet Sue's, Dinty Moors, and see these go back. Oh, there's some other beef stew back there. I think that's the Walmart brand, but my sweet Sue's, I have them back there too. Now these tuna packages, I probably have about 50 of these, but they're underneath my couch already packed away, um, which is now our bed. So I don't want to move it yet to pull that food out. I'm just going to leave it there. It's perfectly fine. Right here, bum, bum, bum. this is all parboiled rice. This is the parboiled rice I was telling you about. Each one of these, I think, is five pounds. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I want to show you the rest of the proteins, though, down there. I've got chicken breast. I've got that beef that I showed you and all these chili beans. 
So we're pretty happy with that. Sorry guys, super cramped space. I'm up on the plant platform right now in the bedroom. We'll move over here. This little, this little thing right here is nothing but oatmeal and a couple things of nuts. Amy loves oatmeal. She made me buy this oatmeal the other day. She's got tons of it. Tons of it. Good stuff. But she wanted that little generic one. She's so afraid she'll run out of oatmeal. I've got some raisins back there for her oatmeal. This right here is yeast. Every time I would go, except for this time, because they happen to have like 10 boxes of these yeast, and this one was open, so I got the box, and then I just put my other ones in there too. So I've been picking up yeast like crazy. We're gonna start exclusively baking our bread, not buying it. Okay, you hear things falling? This is all milk. Powdered milk. Sorry guys, I'm trying. And then there I have cans of evaporated milk. I have a couple of these uh, shelf stable milks like from the dollar store. Although I didn't get this one at the dollar store. Um, that is some Augustine Farms Morning Moo. This is a milk alternative. And then beneath it I have the actual, uh, another can of Augustine Farms, the actual powdered milk. Next to it I have two Augustine Farms powdered butter. I can't live without butter. I just can't do it. So I gotta have the butter. We have Tons of butter in the freezer, too, but that's another whole story. Uh, freezer food, I'll talk about that at another time. Up here, I have some pie fillings that I found on sale. They all have good dates. Thought it'd be nice to make a pie. We've got some marshmallow fluffs. I think there's uh, four or five peanut butters. Some frostings. Let me see over here is kind of like our Gatorades, powder drinks, some jellies. See? Got a lot of pickles. A lot of pickles. I love them. I love them. Believe me. I will eat every one of them. Okay. I've got some, uh, some garlic. And then there's some relish and some salsa, and back there are some jars of, I believe it's Worcestershire sauce, some black olives, some green olives, and if I take you over here, up in this cabinet, this is like condiment central. Sorry it's so dark. Um, it's just all our condiments. I have two or three of all of them. So I have several salad dressings, Lots of sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy. That's my favorite barbecue. You get the idea. Now, let's go to some drawers. All right, everybody, this drawer is full of candy. Yeah, nothing but candy and goodies. Put that away. These two drawers are just, oh, if I can get it. They're just random cans. Cans of things that I only got like one of. I, I didn't know what to do. I have another bucket like that too, but that's all that's in here. These two drawers. Let's see here. Let's go to this drawer. These are drink mixes. Remember I got those iced teas? Just different stuff. Stuff like we've never had, just for something different. And here, is all Amy's little hot drinks. Her hot cocos, her apple ciders, all kind. look, Lucky Charms hot cocoa, so funny, she loves that. Um, tea, these are Amy's hot drinks. Down here is all pasta. Again, like the beans, I've been ca dry canning all my pasta, so I have many, many more, and I will show them to you when I show you the alternative pantry ideas. Okay, let's open this one. This is nothing but gravy. Every kind of gravy. Brown gravy, brown gravy, 
peppered gravy, turkey gravy, chicken gravy. Oh, au jus. This is au jus as well. That's what this is. Over here is, can you see it? It's having a hard time focusing. I'm sorry. It's more seasonings. These are taco seasonings, chili, fajitas. These are the best little soups when you don't feel good. Have you had these? These are the best feel good soup. I've got some different dip mixes and some bouillons, some pepper that was just randomly thrown in there. Down here, that's my spices. See, I have some of these little packets. These are really nice to have and flat and easy to store. I wish all my spices were like this right now, except the ones I'm using. And then, okay, look at this, arrowroot. Now, what do you use that for? Can somebody tell me, what do you use arrowroot for? And then, it's just all spices. Garlic, you've been seeing. Soul food, all of them. More garlic, bacon, fake bacon. We don't eat real bacon, but we eat these little fake bacon pieces. They're good. Good on a salad. They're good in scrambled eggs, too. Okay, over here, you can see back there, I have three gallons of oil, a couple gallons of vinegar. There's Amy's cheese balls. I have two things of the... Uh, buttermilk pancakes. Down here is another random box. Things that I only like had one. Remember I told you there's like 10 of us? This is a pudding mix. You mix with one gallon of milk. Isn't that awesome? I can't wait to make this one day. Everyone will love that. It'll be a good treat. See, it's just random cans. Random cans of soups and Chef Boyardee's. I had one can, one box of this. I love au gratin potatoes, but now I'm into making them myself. So I look at the. I got them on special. They're 85 cents. Um. So that's that. Up here. Well, let's do the rest of some of the food. Okay, I put these here because I wanted to show you. I bought a bunch of these. They were only like 34 cents. It's 7.05 ounces of pasta. And they were like 33 cents. I swear I have like 50 of them. This is the perfect amount for me and Amy for a meal right here. So I just brought one as an example. This is just some extra virgin olive oil. Some more pasta. More tea. These are all beans. Green beans, butter beans, pinto beans, refried beans, too deep. All these cans. That's what this bin is. Nothing but beans. Over here, in this bin, there's move those again. I have some corn starches and a bunch of salt. You know I've been buying the salt. And now you know there'll be 10 of us. So if we're baking all our own food, our own breads and stuff, we really need this. So I've got sea salt. I've got pink salt in there. All kinds of salt. That's what this bin is. Over here, some regular bleach with that powdered bleach. Baking soda. This is all trash bags, baggies. See? Foils. More trash bags. If I move these, everything's stacked. Those are those foil sheets. So, yeah. Sponges. This is some of those fuels I showed you the other day. Having an avalanche over here. My paper plates. Damp rids. Lots of paper towels. Let me let you see one more time, because we are just about done here. There you have it. That's how we fit our groceries.
in our 30 foot travel trailer. Well, what'd you think? It's kind of a lot of food, huh? But believe it or not, we have more. Yeah, we have more. I have uh, another pantry and we have all those uh, buckets, you know, that we did before. So I'll show you the other pantry and I'll show you my, uh, all my dehydrated stuff that I did. And it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty in their jars. Am I weird that I like looking at the food through the jars? All right, everybody, take care, okay? And stay safe. Love everyone. Just love everyone. And we'll be talking to you soon. God bless you. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more.